All right, I uh, wanted to show a video, something I've been playing with all day, basically. Um, and that is remote play, working now without the need for root access. It's a simple install an app, run it, and connect kind of deal. Uh, it's a port of the app, so you don't have to go into system folders with root access and all this other shit, which was a pain in the ass. And you don't need root. Um, plus, the big plus side on this, the controls work without using touch mapping or anything like that. You can use all the controls. The only thing that's missing is certain things that this the shield doesn't really have. Like, you can't use a touchpad unless you use the control use it on the uh, screen. You have to use the touch screen for the touchpad. Uh, the uh, share button is on the touch screen, and also the PlayStation button, which really, uh, for the most part, I've not had a problem with that. That's not been an issue when playing any game that I played. Some games rely on it. The only game I have, Killzone Shadowfall, which I just bought today for two bucks. <laughs> game sucks, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, it relies on the touchpad for things that I was like, what the fuck? Why would you even think to? I'm like. In a battle, and I have to touch the touch. I have to use the touchpad when I'm in like a heated battle. And I, I had the game before, and that's what I remember from it. I remember fiddling with the touchpad and being frustrated uh, during the game. Um, and the stupid owl and all that crap. But whatever. Got the game two dollars today, um, and I tried it out, and. Got all the campers online. It's, it's wonderful. The shields and all that shit. Anyways. Outside of that, it works better than... I had a Vita. Don't have one anymore. I have a PlayStation TV, but no Vita. But on the Vita, the game relied... Or games, PlayStation 4 games, a lot of them, relied heavily on the touchscreen for missing buttons and actions or whatever. So, there were a couple games, such as Blacklight Retribution, I don't know if it's still like this, where aiming and shooting was actually mapped to the touchscreen, which made the game unplayable. And the only way you could actually set it up to be playable was you can remap the buttons, but then once you remap the buttons, if you want to use the PlayStation 4 controller on your PlayStation 4, you have to again remap the buttons because everything's all fucked up now. So, yeah. So that was crap, but because we have the full console controller, and we also have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, it's a lot better experience than it was on the PlayStation Vita. Um, full clickable analogs and all that crap. Uh, other controllers I use that work with Shield controller, the separate one, yeah, that works. Um, and the Xbox 360 controller, I use the wired. And uh, for the Shield controller, uh, if you're using anything but uh, Shield portable or tablet, you have to plug in with a USB cable. Um, the So I tried it on my phone. Um, the, I tried the PlayStation 4 controller without any modifications, no root access. Well, I do have root access on my phone, but I did not use it for anything. And just simply plugging the controller in, it kind of works. There, You can't use a D-pad. Uh, triggers don't work. Eh, certain things like that. Um, same thing with the MOGA. Uh, MOGA Power Pro. Is that the, Yeah. MOGA Power Pro. I believe I was in B mode or the HID mode. And that worked the same way as the, the PlayStation controller. I believe you, if you have root access, you can get that to work with drivers and whatever the fuck else people use. But... Yeah, so now you can use the Shield controller to control your PlayStation 4 without using, like, touch mapping and all that crap. So you can click the analogs and everything works right. No tricks. Um, so I'm going to show you that I do not have root access here. Hit verify root, and it says, sorry, this device does not have root access. And then we are going to connect... I had to put my, uh, I had to make sure that my PlayStation 4 was uh, actually connect, uh, set up to have it auto login 
and now I'm getting notifications. But it had to auto log in to my PlayStation 4 or it would not connect. Oh, this also has trouble with Lollipop. So, yeah. Uh, the dev is waiting on PlayStation or Sony to update the app themselves for Lollipop. Because they're going to be getting it on their phone. Okay, next, next. And we connected and see there's touch controls there. But now they disappear and I'm still able to use the D-pad. Um, this, all that stuff. An infamous first light. Um, but like I said, if you need the touchpad or something, you just touch the screen and the touchpad is up here. And if you need, of course, the other buttons, they're down here. So I just leave those up and then wait for that overlay to disappear. And then just everything works fine. There's the littlest bit of, uh, there's a little bit of, uh, what the fuck is it, uh, input delay. But that's the same with everything that, that uses this, um, that uses remote play. And you can't play PlayStation Now games. So I don't even have PlayStation Now anymore, but... I will eventually again, but right now I don't have it. But you can launch your games. Minecraft, whatever. And see, I have the disc, I get to hear it in the tray. I believe you should be able to record too. Well, I think you're recording whether you like it or not. So if you wanted to record, I don't know about sharing to Twitch. I don't even think I have here, hit broadcast gameplay. I don't think I have my Twitch account set up. Nope, you can't. Nope. But you can record, I believe. Start share play. Anyways, I believe you can save a video. Yeah, let's save video. Video saved, yeah. You can record gameplay. So. And we have... I'm terrible at the uh, multiplayer, but... You can play the multiplayer. I just hate it. It's like campers everywhere. Everybody has a shield. I can't see shit. Especially when you have this little screen and the... Streaming is calling, causing a little blurriness and artifacting. It's hard to see anything. So. But you can play it. So, yeah. So, actually, I'd have to... Some people get the PlayStation Vita solely for the remote play. Uh, if you're looking for remote play, I'd probably go with the Shield over <laughs> the Vita, unless you desperately have to play, like, the uh, AAA titles you have there. The native ones. But especially for, like, emulators and shit. Plus, you get the friggin' PC streaming and the, the, the grid and all that stuff. There's a lot of AAA gaming you could actually do on this. You just need an internet connection. I can't even see what I'm doing here. The screen's dark. Um, I wish I could see. I'm fucking blind. Okay. Okay, here we are. Team Deathmatch. Let's just go with a... I was just making ass out of myself. It's not like I haven't done it before. Yeah, people are talking. Oh yeah, you get to hear the crying baby in the background. As if anybody wants to fucking hear that. Feed your kid! Stop playing video games. Feed your fucking kid. You know these kids are probably dying in the background. Fucking... <laughs> He's got bugs flying around his head and they're like... Shut up, yo! I'm playing fucking Killzone! Goddamn bitch! Oh, let's see, what are they saying? I don't think I speak that language. Uh, it's probably, I'll, 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 I'll just say what it is. Shut up, bitch! The fuck, I'm trying to play Killzone! I don't care if you haven't eaten in five years! Go ahead, broadcast your fucking crappy parenting skills. Why do you think I'm not a parent? Because I'd have them too. Although I don't think I would be that bad. 
Anyways. But here we have it. Killzone playing on, uh... This is more like a uh, tech demo, but... Feed your damn kid, you son of a bitch. Today in the news... A friggin' little baby died. I can't see shit. Fucking baby died because somebody was playing Killzone Shadowfall and wouldn't feed him. What are you doing, camping? See? This is what they do in this game. Person that isn't feeding their kid. Feed your fucking kid. Feed your kid! God damn it. It's probably him. Fucking kid's gonna die. I mean, that is not change the diaper, and the fucking diaper's probably fucking giving a baby a rash, and... You know, probably get infected and die. Anyway, so, yeah, kills on Shadowfall. Uh, there is high quality settings. I found that they cause a lot of artifacting, so I turned them off. Well, can't find anybody, but here it is playing. Woo! -hoo. And, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Can't stand listening to that. But here's Infamous First Light. I'm going to be showing exclusive content. Continue on. All I was doing was killing people. They want me to do something, but I haven't paid attention to it. I'm just running around smashing shit and killing people. In this game, I can show you one of the things that the lack of a touchpad is uh, does. It's not too terrible, but if you're in a situation where you're uh, fighting and you're lo losing energy, it may be a problem. I haven't had that problem. Wee. So infamous. It's a game that you can't use game stream for. That's a boost. Yep, it is. Now where's oh I think I'm supposed to collect those damn things. We So let me find a oh. Oh. Well, I finally figured out what I was supposed to be doing, I guess. Okay. Okay, well, let me find it. <laughs> okay, so you have to touch the screen just to do that. That's about it. Failed to go and oh, I was apparently supposed to go to some race. Did not know. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, something. I can't read it. What am I? Oh. Okay. I don't know. Apparently it's supposed to go to some race. Dash through neon clouds. Oh. Press up. Okay. You do? Come here, fatty. <laughs> Where the hell he go? Fuck. I fucked it. <laughs> Damn. Things pretty fast. 
All right. Um, that's that. That's yeah. You know, that fun stuff. I'm just gonna end that. But yeah, you can record your gameplay. You can't stream to Twitch though. Although if you have there's an app, if you have root access, you can actually stream it to Twitch. Oh wait, no, you can't. That's right. This has uh, HTCP. There's HTCP protection on the uh, stream. So you actually can't, or else you just stream a black screen. A black screen, I think, maybe audio to Twitch. Ugh, so that won't work. Mm. But you can record it with an HDMI cable and a capture card. And I think I mentioned that you can't use PlayStation Now, but if I didn't, yes. You can't use PlayStation Now. That would be cool, though, if you had it. So there you go. And you can use Share Factory. Stuff like that. You just can't use your apps like your Netflix and all that. But that's okay because this is an Android device and it has its own Netflix. So you don't have to worry about that. So here you go. I'm going to disconnect with the back button. And then hit back again. Hit home twice to bring up the recent apps. Not three times, twice. And then in order to get rid of that audio in the background, you have to swipe it off. So that's... That I will link to the APK or the actual XDA forum where you can get the most up-to-date APK. A lot of people like to post or repost the older APKs so you end up with outdated versions of the, uh, the application. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to link you to the source of the application and not, um, not just some outdated APK. So. And also you can look up tutorials on this, but honestly, it's simple as installing an APK and fucking going. So there you go. Thank you for watching.